It's story time. La, 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 la! I'm such a great singer, aren't I, Mum? Yes, but not as good as a crocodile. What? Crocodiles used to be wonderful singers. Uh, no way. Way. It's in this story from Africa called How the Wolf Learned to Sing. The wolf? I thought you said crocodile could sing. I did, but the wolf stole the crocodile's song. Really? Hmm. You have a listen to this. Once upon a time, a long time ago, when the world was new, a crocodile sat by the river and sang to her friends. The other animals loved listening, especially Wolf. Back then, she couldn't even sing one note. Poor Wolf. Mm-hmm. One day, on her way to a party, Wolf stopped to ask her friend Crocodile a favor. Listen, Croc, I really, really want to sing at the party today. You're such an amazing singer. Could I please borrow your voice? Whoa, that's a big favor. It's a huge favor. But Crocodile and Wolf had been friends a long time, so Crocodile agreed. Promise you'll bring it back right after the party? Wolf promised eagerly, you're the best, Croc. Wow, nice crocodile. At the party, Wolf sang beautifully. The other guests were thrilled, and they asked for another song and another. Wolf loved the attention and felt so proud of her new voice. Hey, that's not your voice, Wolf. That's crocodiles. Mm-hmm. Soon it was dark, and the party was over. But Wolf didn't go back to the river like she promised. She snuck away, howling in the moonlight, and kept Crocodile's voice for herself. Naughty Wolf! That's why the Crocodile has no voice, and why you'll always find her at the edge of the river, waiting and listening. And on dark nights like this, the wolves come out to howl at the moon. The end. Wow, Mum, that story was so cool! <laughs> well, thank you! Night-night. <laughs> Night-night, Mum. <laughs>